and welcome back to another episode of the Holster Sommelier, where today we bring for you another fun comparison video, this time between the John Wick 3 original STI Combat Master, which was a collaboration between Terran Tactical Innovations and STI before they became staccato. This is clear and safe. Lots of bids out there on the Combat Master for years now. No reason to go into a lot of detail. It's going to be going head-to-head -head against the John Wick 4 Pit Viper. This one, 100% from Terran. It is also clear and safe. And we want to just say uh, how these two feel against one another. Um, there have been some interesting videos about the Pit Viper recently that you may have seen. One by 1911 Syndicate. Um, they pointed out a number of issues they had with the handgun. I will tell you that the Saumier fundamentally received the same tool they did. Disappointing not to get the wider checkered mag release. Uh, M. Smithers did a video recently where he basically pointed out that somewhere along the way, Taryn switched between the Gen 1 grip module to the Gen 2 grip module. The fitment on it has a lot of issues. This grip safety is depressed. You can see jagged edges here. Again, if you're interested in all the detail, M. Smithers, you might want to check that video out. He does a very fine job detailing all the differences. It's not worth going into here. So in this episode, we're going to go head to head with these guns, see how they compare to one another. In an earlier episode, we showed off the Sand Viper against the Staccato XC and the Nighthawk Custom TRS Comp. You may want to check that out. It's basically the sister gun to the Pit Viper. It was developed uh, before and the movie was delayed, so they released the Sand Viper and had to wait on the Pit Viper, but they, in essence, aside from the SRO, are the same tool. So, let's head out to the range and see what the shooters have to say after we put both of these fine tools through their paces. At the range today, Terran Tactical STI John Wick 3 Combat Master. First up, shooter is clear. First up, John Wick 3 Combat Master on the plate rack. Shooter is ready. Ready. And clear. Back shooter is ready. ready. And clear. Second up, John Wick 4 Pit Viper on the plate rack. Shooter is ready. Ready. And clear. Shooter is ready. Ready. And clear. John Wick 3, Combat Master. Plate racks. Shooters ready? Ready. And clear. Woo! Got it. Shooters ready? Ready. And clear. up on the straight plate rack pit viper john wick four shooters ready ready and clear john wick three combat master shooters ready ready and clear Little dueling tree fun here. Pit Viper versus Combat Master. On the left, shooting high. Pit Viper on the right, shooting low. Combat Master. Shooters are ready? Ready. And clear. Go! Okay, second round on the dueling tree. Now we switched. We have Combat Master shooting low left. Pit Viper shooting high right. 
Pit Viper one last time. Shooters are ready. Ready. And clear. Go. All right, well, we just finished a pretty fun day at the range, head-to-head -head comparison with the John Wick 3 Combat Master STI Club and the John Wick 4 Pit Viper, which was solely a Terran product. Uh, what do we think, guys? Things we liked, things maybe we didn't like. Did they feel the same, different? What are your thoughts? So I'll start out the, um, both these guns, uh, 2011 style, different grip angle than what I typically shoot with a Glock or something. But once I got that accommodated, kind of I think I fit in a little bit better. The um, switching back to iron sights from optics, totally a different game as far as uh, going back to iron sights. But both these guns are super high-end, super well-made machines. I kind of have uh, a little extra affection for the Pit Viper just because I like the Pit Viper and the Sand Viper. The shape, the way the gun fits, they are very, very similar, but I really like the pit viper i couldn't tell you why okay well again <laughs> pit viper and sand viper are compensated the combat master is not that and that's might be one thing it. that's pretty different between the two could be what else are we thinking yeah i think uh bill summed it up pretty well i don't really have too much more to add like he was saying we've both been running a lot of red dots lately um and you definitely notice when you go back to iron sights you know uh got to get back to the basics sometimes and uh, mix things up so it was a bit of a, a learning curve getting back into that, but uh, both great guns. To me, I wanna say they're honestly virtually identical. Um, they both feel really great, very similar triggers, everything, uh, hand, um, grips and whatnot. I could not tell you which one I favor. I, I think they're pretty much the same to me. Okay, there we have from the shooters. They like shooting them. We're making adjustments back to iron sights because everyone's shooting dots these days, so. Another fun episode with the Holster Sommier at the range. Well, looks like the shooters had a lot of fun at the range today. And I will tell you, it was really fun to get these two guns out and give them a run. Um, as the shooter said, they're both just super high quality, very well made, uh, very fun to shoot. They're both very fast. Triggers are amazing on both of these tools. And as we know... Uh, it's uh, sometimes up to subjective feel, but it was a, a draw here. Now, we did, as usual, want to objectify some of the shooting results, and so we ran the Mantis X recoil meter, and what we found is that, indeed, the Pit Viper shot slightly faster and slightly flatter than the Combat Master, um, and I want to attribute that largely to the compensator. So I think that makes a difference on the recoil, certainly getting back on target a little bit faster with the Pit Viper than with the Combat Master, but taking nothing away from the Combat Master. Both are excellent tools. So once again, appreciate all the views, appreciate the subscribes. Please keep it coming. It really helps the channel a lot, guys. Really like the comments too. Thanks again. Another episode of the Holster Sommier.